All right, all, welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Creality CR10 Pro Smart, which is this mighty beast here. Now, I couldn't wait to get my little grubby little paws on this printer. Um, I do have the original CR10 Smart, and this one is even better. Now, I absolutely love this printer. Not only does it look cool, uh, prints fantastically as well and it's got some awesome features on it which we will go through uh, after we've taken a look obviously at the test prints so usual beanie hobby style we'll go test prints first and then we'll have a little look around the printer uh, have a look at a few of its features and yeah we'll go from there so let's let's get straight into this because this printer is just mind-blowingly awesome we'll start off with the smallest this file was actually on the SD card that came with the printer. And of course, this is Corality's bunny rabbit. <laughs> I thought it will keep printing this bunny rabbit, but as you can see, came out exceptionally well. No flaws at all whatsoever. This filament is actually really awesome. This filament is from Technology Outlet. The silk range of PLA. Very nice and shiny. And then we printed this puzzle box. You see detailing around the side of the puzzle box actually came out exceptionally well. Dragon there. And it is sort of a maze, a maze puzzle box. I mean I've put it together but <laughs> I haven't been able to open it since because I just can't work it out sort of twist and turn yeah that'll eventually come open but you can see that all the actual maze inside is all running freely but let's say it is quite a good puzzle you just have to get it in the right oh there we go progress but yeah i'm not going to sit there and do all that but yeah that's the puzzle box came out exceptionally well as you can see um the missus want a uh, sheep so i printed her a sheep with animal texture See, it also came out exceptionally well. Texturing. And the print quality coming from this printer is actually second to none. I know this is not a cheap printer by any means, but when it comes to 3D printing, I always say you get what you pay for. And I don't regret spending my money on this at all. Now this one I actually bought myself um, so this video isn't actually sponsored in any way, shape or form, so you will always get an honest opinion from me over here at Beanie's Hobbies. Like I say, this printer was all bought and paid for. Um, now, printed a couple of Pokemon pieces. I don't really know much about Pokemon, so um, I just thought this was kind of cool. Bendy and flexible. Um, I'm not going to even attempt to say what his name is because <laughs> I've got a glue. But yeah, again, you can see it's printed absolutely flawlessly. Then I went all out and printed this quite large vase or vase in that really cool shiny pink or silk. PLA and as you can see it came out absolutely flawlessly this is such a good printer guys really is a good printer and if you're obviously looking to buy one of these it is worth every penny um, don't forget you can also use my discount code beanie10 you can actually get 10% off this printer over at technology outlook I should leave all the links down below for that in the description And at last, another little Pokemon character. Um, also, yeah, I don't know what his name is, but it was kind of cool. Also came out incredibly well. All the little sort of fine detailing there. Print quality on this thing is absolutely amazing.
Okay, well, that's enough of the prints. Let's get you reset up and we'll have another look at this printer. All right, so now we're starting down here at the bottom. Uh, you can see there's a couple of different things going on with this one compared to the CR10 Smart. Now, Corelli have decided to add some manual bed levelling on this, which I think is an awesome idea. I don't like to just rely on the auto bed levelling, because if your bed is a mile out, you know, every printer is going to struggle to get that first layer down nicely. So it's always nice to be able to manually level the bed, just to help to assist um, your auto bed levelling. As you can see, we've got some nice red accents here, I'd say, to sort of highlight the black <laughs> so obviously we've got the drawer with your tools in we have got SD card slot we have our full color touch screen we do have adjustment here for the belt tension for the bed now coming around to the side and on another side note quality do actually ship this with their own, hang on, let's get this to focus. With their own camera, so there is a dedicated there is a dedicated port on the side of the printer to plug the camera in. So then, if you then download the Quality app, you can then watch your prints in real time. Now, this is going to be quite awkward. I'm going to have to take you off this tripod, so I apologise in advance for camera shake. So down here on the side, we obviously have our power switch, network cable. USB port for the camera and we have a USB-C connection to connect this to the computer. Now coming up we have the brand new newly developed out of focus there we go full metal Sprite extruder now this is one of Corelli's best things I've ever made as far as I'm aware this extruder is absolutely phenomenal now obviously this one is all full metal so quite capable of printing temperatures up to around about 300 degrees comes complete with our very own CR touch I love the fact that they've angled the part cooling fan here on the side so it's now blowing air straight onto the hot end which is absolutely marvellous. Now, a slight difference to this one, to the CR10, uh, the CR10 Smart, is the spool holder is obviously now up here on top of the printer, running down into filament runout sensor. Another nice little touch. Also, we do have up under here. LED light bar which is quite cool so you can always leave that on at the night time if you want to monitor your prints if it's in a different room or for me out in my workshop so I'm actually nowhere near my printers really nice touch just worth mentioning the actual LED light on this is super bright it does chuck out a nice lot of light also another good feature to mention this is dual Z very important in 3D printing I always have to have a printer with dual Z and they're also tethered as well which is good so you never have to worry about anything being out of level another good point like i said the original one was also like that as well notice quality at the moment are producing a lot of their printers which are dual z and tethered um i find that a must nowadays in 3d printing single lead screws for me i find that the printer's produced the quality of the prints are just nowhere near as good as what you would get with dual z okay so to power it up power buttons down here on the side we just need to push the power button in and hold it for roughly three seconds printer will then fire up you see down here touch screen complete with many many fingerprints <laughs> So the layout style of the touch screen on this is the same as the CR10 Smart. Exactly the same look. So if you're used to using that layout, like I say, this one is exactly the same. It's not the easiest of layouts to use, I must admit. Um, there are several other features inside these menus. So you've got, you know, you've got your attraction. Your attra um, hang on. <laughs> 
the tripod is like nope I'm having a nap so once your printer's fired up you're greeted with your home screen uh, this is obviously where you can then just monitor your prints there's not actually anything as such you can do on this part of the screen uh, you can then move down to print where you can then obviously print and then down into your ready settings and obviously inside some of these menus there are other menus so obviously the first bit here you can move your axes you can then obviously extrude filament and then on the end one here you can then adjust your nozzle temperatures or you can preheat your PLA, ABS etc etc and then down into settings um, you can adjust your settings for how hot you want your temperature to be for your PLA or your ABS you've got your auto bed levelling you can turn your light on and off so you could do but I don't turn off at the top so you could turn your light on and off um, change your language turn the printer off and then you obviously then go into your advanced settings now also this has got Wi-Fi built in which obviously you need to have to be able to view what's going on on the camera uh, you can turn your run out sensor on and off and then finally you've got the about section so we can see here we have a print size of 300 by 300 by 400 uh, you can also then see what the printer's name is and what firmware we're running so that is it for the touch screen sometimes it can be slightly unresponsive um, you just need to touch it in the right spot but apart from that this printer is absolutely fan doozy tastic now let's take another little look at this hot end now like I said this is the all new full metal sprite complete with their own CR touch uh, the Ender 3 S1 has a slightly different one to this that one is that one on that one is plastic where this one is metal so this is like say a full metal so it is capable of printing higher temperatures I've had no faults with this thing at all whatsoever what's handy about it is you can just crack off these three screws on the side take the whole thing off in one piece there's a breakout board on the back so if you need to replace anything at any time literally it is just plug and play so performing any sort of maintenance on this thing is an absolute breeze um, an absolute breeze it's just a fantastic design printer and the print quality like I say has been absolutely amazing now if we come and just zoom you guys out incredibly slowly <laughs> oh dear all right and if we come down here to the build plate we do have metal textured build plate which is flexible and it is nicely textured i've had nothing come unstuck off of this the only thing you will find I mean I'm used to normally printing on glass you'll get a nice smooth bottom um, anything you will find with this you do get a slightly textured bottom to your prints it's not a biggie because it's obviously the bottom but you know that is something just to keep in mind you will get this sort of slight texturization if that's even a word to the um, bottom of your prints but apart from that who cares um, what else can I say really not a lot this this printer is just it's just too cool for words uh, we could got a belt adjustment here for the hot end as well uh, it's it's just an awesome awesome 3d printer that works incredibly well and I say when I saw these were coming out I just I just you know couldn't get the money out of my wallet quick enough to buy one um, if I had to choose between this one and the original I would always choose this one because like I say the direct drive on this is just awesome and as far as I'm concerned this printer is worth every penny um, so yeah guys if you are looking at this I wouldn't hesitate and think oh is it any good is it not I would just go out and buy it it is an absolute fantastic printer and like I say if you use my code my discount code over at Technology Outlet and use the link down below in the description, you'll then get 10% off of this one, the Ender 2 Pro or the Ender 3 S1. So guys, that's gonna be it for me for now for waffling on. 
Uh, if you found this of use, please do give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. And yeah, I will catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!